Greetings loves, go ahead and click that like button to share this video out and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to make sure you click that notification bell so you'll be notified of my future videos and welcome to Soul Search. Now it is posted that the FBI is now officially uh, checking into John Paul, John Paul Miller, Michael Miller's husband, the pastor of South Rock Church. Now, according to this article by um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina News, they are saying that the FBI is now investigating J.P. Miller, his attorney, and the Dare to Care Africa mission. If this is true, this is great news. So it says sources confirmed that Tom Winslow of the Winslow Law Firm and J.P. Miller are persons of interest in the FBI, I'm sorry, by the FBI over issues surrounding monies collected for Miller's African Mission Dare to Care. It is unclear how long the investigation has been going on, but Myrtle Beach, South Carolina News has been sent information that confirms that Micah knew of the investigation prior to her being deceased. Now, Micah Miller kept a daily journal, allegedly. Now, on March 14th, Myrtle Beach Police reported that nearly $1,200 in donations meant for Solid Rock Missions Ministries um, efforts in Africa were stolen by Micah. Now, I saw another report that said it was not her. It was confirmed to be someone else. So I'm unsure of this information. Uh, they said that it is now closed. The death investigation is now closed. Um, they also say that her bank account was allegedly credited with $1,199 after she was deceased. I'm pretty sure the FBI knows who put the money there. Um, apparently, additional funds are missing from that same mission. Attorney Tom's Win Tom Winslow and his law firm are people slash organizations of interest in the FBI probe. Tom Winslow represented Pastor John Paul Miller and helped J.P. Miller get legal documentation of Micah's mental health diagnosis. Hmm. Now, many have questioned Winslow's methods in getting this legal documentation. And they have posts on Solid Rock and Tom Winslow's Facebook pages. Hmm. Now it goes on to say that the Solid Rock Church website was removed from the internet and scrubbed after the news of the FBI investigation began to privately leak out into certain circles. In a letter published by Fitz News, Pastor John Paul Miller publicly purportedly uh, tells Micah that I have about 10 to 12 people going to Africa at this time, including attorney Tom Winslow. See the letter. Now, it says, hey, Micah, I hope you're doing well. I'm ready to be done and move on and heal and find a first lady who won't treat me the way you are. Abusive. It says, I really hope you uh, do great things. I was willing to do anything. I even had the amazing desire to have children since you are not on meds. And I want to apologize to the uh, for the flowers and the fruit. It was already paid for. Wow. To last until your birthday. Feel free to give it away. I sent that to you before I found out all the things that I have recently found out about you and what you have done. And you disgust me. Now this is from John Paul to his wife Micah. So please, let's meet soon and be divorced and let this nightmare be over for me. Okay. Okay, well, you don't have to meet her. You want a divorce? Go foul. <sighs> he says, I'm enjoying all the Africa missions. We know that that was what she wanted to do. So I guess he's rubbing it in her face that he's getting her excluded from that, but continuing in it himself. And he says, and Pastor Jumba and all the pastor's wives are so excited for what we are doing. 
We expect 120 children our first semester. I have about 10 to 12 people going this time, including Kristen and Tom Winslow and Becca and Jonathan, etc. You know, it's no point in rubbing this in her face if, you know, you are excluding her from it and you want a divorce and she's supposed to discuss you and all that. It's like this guy... Wow. So it says there is a developing story. The last thing Myrtle Beach, South Carolina news wishes to do is interfere in an active investigation. Sure, just post about it. Uh, we reached out to Anthony, I mean, I'm sorry, attorney Russell Long today for a statement from his client. His staff informed us that Mr. Miller would not be making a statement at this time, and that is in his best interest. Now, the website in question is back up. I did indeed see that it was down at one point, but it is now back up. And as you can see, they have a nice little picture here of all the people who are supposed to be the leadership, including, you guessed it, your favorite pastor. Your favorite pastor. And listed here, elders, Vince and Vernell Jackson, pastor, John Paul Miller, Trisha Ross, Dan and Erica Rahr, and Mark Cassidy. <sighs> they probably took this down just so that they can do some changes. Now, when I go to, uh, let's see, about us, the pastor, oh my goodness, guys. Now, who starts off giving a little bio without giving more history? This starts off right here. Pastor John Paul Miller spent his teenage years playing the piano in churches as well as nightclubs. Okay, that's great information, but why are we starting at him being a teenager? Remember when he was on the ground and he was crying and saying ants were biting him and he was <laughs> talking like that and the guy asked him did he want his mother to be called and she was saying he was saying somebody was evil not sure if he was talking about the mother or what have you but yeah it's weird that they started here but again he probably wrote this just like he allegedly wrote the um obituary for Micah and we saw how that is and the letter we just read and other stuff that he wrote so he's a weird guy for sure so again it says Pastor John Paul Miller spent his teenage years playing the piano in churches as well as nightclubs and he thought church was for fake people who were one way in public and another way behind closed doors now, one day in his mid-20s, he gave his life to Jesus Christ. And in 2006, John Paul stepped out in faith and started his first church, Solid Rock Ministries, in the Socrates Library. Now, his first sermon was only six minutes because he only knew one scripture. His first congregation was his family, a few friends, and several former drug related acquaintances yes guys this is on solidrockmb.com I didn't write it <laughs> I don't know who wrote it um, it says Pastor John Paul has been involved in the music department of churches all across the Grand Strand and before starting his new church Solid Rock at Market Common now, it's alleged that he had to start a new church because his old church kind of shattered when he and Micah decided to come public about their affair, both being married to other people at the time and deciding to be together, get married, blah, blah, blah. So it says Pastor John Paul has five children who we have not heard from. We have not seen any public statements or anything, nothing about their stepmom. Interesting. <sighs> Mind you guys, they're not underage, so. All right, so it lists Logan, who is married to his wife, Madison, Zachary, Ellie, Asher, and Selah. 
Pastor John Paul and his wife Micah have a heart to love God and love people. Why is she still being mentioned? She's not his wife anymore. Not anymore. The welcoming, real, and approachable attitude is what has won the hearts of everyone who attends Solid Rock at Market Common. And there's a link for you to donate. Wow, copyright 2024 Solid Rock Ministries. Okay, and you can also go to their Facebook. Well, it's trying to get me to follow. I'm not going to do that. Uh, same bio. So as far as I know, the Facebook has always been up and running. And you cannot comment just like I think um, most of the videos I've been to recently on the YouTube page are the same way. Posted the obituary. Let's mute that. So I'm wondering if they have taken Micah down other than her obituary and stuff like that. Pastor Jumba from Africa mm, praying for John, John Paul at Solid Rock as a group from the church makes plans to go to Africa to start a new Christian school to minister over a hundred children. So you're going to indoctrinate Christianity to African children. Got it. And who knows what else. Which hopefully they are truly being investigated. Because yeah. So, so many people clearly, um, although these are past posts we're looking at, but again, the website is up. It looks like so many people um, are supporting him. I find it interesting that they put, um, posted about a church member who lost, earned their wings on April the 12th, but for Micah, it's only the obituary and the post of the memorial service so they do have a lot of children here Easter Sunday worship parodies and children I don't know why people say kids it's kind of pet peeve of mine but yeah so hopefully the FBI is going to do some deep deep digging there was a petition going around so a lot of people are saying that they having problems getting to the um wow okay well I put in change.org Micah Miller and uh, it came up as you can see and then when I clicked on it and started the video it wasn't there so I'm not sure what that is but maybe it's because they are already investigating Maybe that's what it means. Maybe, um, again, uh, the FBI is investigating. So you can follow um, whom, whomever you're following concerning this case. And you will get updated information, that's for sure. Because there are several uh, sources that are posting legitimate information concerning this case and this situation. All right. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys share and um subscribe make sure you click the notification bell and continue to pray and uplift micah and her family and strengthen them you know very sad situation terrible guy john paul miller and hopefully he will no longer be working with children or whatever he got going on he needs to be stopped